And I've just been building some wheel spaces for the tractor. Um, just to space the wheels out a little bit, work a bit extra on steep country. Um, I've got this one here that's uh, just tacked together at the moment. So what they do is fit on there like that. And I'll put some bolt holes through this one and just bolt that one on. Uh, bolt that one, wheel studs through this one. Um, I just thought I'd show you how I, I did all my uh, wheel holes. This one here fits on there. So to actually do it, there um, oh, it's a bit tricky actually we're around the wrong way anyway it should be the other way it goes in there like that and to work out my um, stud pattern all I did was lathed up this thing here. That's a, uh, a little piece that's been lathed up to fit on there like that. And then I can drill a little pilot hole through there and it gets me exactly the middle of the stud right around the wheel and uh, that's how I got that one and then I've got another one here that I've, that I've just done and I've got the holes in it you can see and I'll put that one on there replicate the stud pattern on that one and same with this one oh, I've just done those you'll you just see the uh, the holes on there that have just been done and then I'll um, I'll put uh, I'll just true the edge of that just skim the edge of that just just so I get a nice press fit in there and uh, I'll make sure the same length and I've also put a little little V pattern in there and I'll put a very fine bead of weld just around the front of that one and I'll put another little bead of weld just on the inside of there and there are, these are only just tacked on at the moment so I'll just finish tacking those on and then we'll see here see what the tractor looks like with a little bit extra extra width on it uh, should should run pretty true. <laughs> well, amateur that knows just enough to get myself in trouble. Might give you a shot of when it's finished later on with the wheels sticking out. See how it goes. Uh, here's the uh, finished product. Um, now we can see in there very well, but. Uh, it's actually made the tractor, if I stand back, is actually quite wide now, it stands pretty well. If, in fact, I think um, it's almost as wide as it is long now. Uh, I took it on the side of the hills doing some um, mulching on the side of the hill. On the, on the steep sidings it's, it's really planted, not even looking like rocking. But as soon as you turn to go uphill now, the front wheels start lifting off the ground. So um, I just find some weights or else, or else make a, a case and just put something in there and I'll, I'll uh, bolt them onto the front, into there. That might stop the front coming off the ground. Also, it'll give me a little bit, tr bit of traction if you're in four wheel drive too, because four wheel drive on this little thing's. Um, you stick it in four-wheel drive, you don't notice any difference. It just 
scratches at the front grass in the front. But it's a lot wider than it is when it's standard. It's uh, it's, it's well worthwhile having them like that. Feels really really safe on the side of the hills. There's no way it's going to tip over. Um, I went on some quite steep stuff that I take the uh, Antonio Carrero on, and the Antonio feels it feels steep up there. This thing actually feels really good. It's not a problem. Oh, next time then. <laughs>